Kids say the funniest things. Please don't hurt Mummy. <laughs> She's already dead. <laughs> Are there any mums in by shouting out who's a mum? Yes. Proper ones, not just ones that have done it to get a flat. <laughs> I'm kidding, we all love mums. You know, mums are great. They're the great unsung heroes of our society. They do so much for so little. What do mums ever get? All they ever get is, you know, not even a thank you, just Mother's Day. Mother's Day's rubbish, isn't it? It's like a Toblerone from the garage. <laughs> or some flowers from a lamppost. <laughs> what? I think it's all right to give your mum flowers you've taken from a lamppost where there's been an accident. Because if you think about it, you wouldn't do that if she'd brought you up a little bit better. <laughs> Her fault. <laughs> of course, one of the major supermarkets is trying to redress the balance, yeah? There's just Mother's Day for mums, but they've decided to have a Mum of the Year competition. Mum of the Year to sort of, you know, just reward ordinary, everyday mums. Acknowledge, you know, all the good work mums do. The only thing I would question about their charitable endeavour is the massive banners they put outside every one of their superstores saying, Enter your mum today. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, if she's up for that, she deserves something. <laughs> Might I suggest a call from social services? <laughs> Sugary tea was my mum's cure for everything. Her, like, elixir of life. If you had any kind of problem, emotional, physical, financial, it wouldn't matter, she would say, come in, I'll make you a nice sweet cup of tea. Which was fine until we found out my brother was diabetic. <laughs> Being diabetic's a pain in the ass, because it's sort of a mid-range illness, isn't it? It's not a cold, it's a bit more serious than that, but it's unlikely to kill you and it won't get you into the Paralympics. <laughs> mid-range. You've got to really search for the positives with the mid-range things. Of course, the positive thing about being diabetic is, of course, you can kill yourself with sweets. <laughs> I'm going to end it all. Pass the sherbet dip, perhaps. <laughs> People with Tourette's. <laughs> what makes them tick? That was originally about suicide bombers. I've toned it down for you. 